Metal G or Betelgeuse, it's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous, very unstable, about to explode. Get ready for a cosmic disaster of never-before-seen scale. Betelgeuse, the red giant star on the edge of our galaxy, is sending frightening signals through space. Astronomers have found something deeply troubling about this massive object. Using the JANS Webb Space Telescope, renowned scientist Brian Cox has issued a very serious warning. The question that keeps coming up is, are we about to witness a supernova explosion that will change the night sky forever? Let's jump right in. In the vastness of the universe, stars are born, live, and die in amazing ways. Recently, one star has caught the attention and concern of both astronomers and the general public, Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star in the constellation Orion. It is incredibly massive and ancient. Its unique reddish color and varying brightness have long been intriguing, but recent events have heightened interest in this cosmic giant. As we learn more about Betelgeuse, we are on the verge of a potentially monumental event in its history. But what might these changes in Betelgeuse mean? Are we witnessing the beginning of a cosmic spectacle on an unimaginably huge scale? Betelgeuse is a stellar giant approximately 764 times larger than our Sun. Its size is almost beyond human comprehension. Imagine a star so immense that if it replaced our Sun, its surface would extend beyond Mars's orbit, enveloping Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. This colossal size not only illustrates the physical grandeur of Betelgeuse, but also indicates its stage in the stellar life cycle as a red supergiant. Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, expanding and cooling after exhausting the hydrogen in its core and fusing helium. What about Betelgeuse's age? This star is estimated to be between 8 and 8.5 million years old. While relatively young in human terms, it is ancient in stellar terms. Over millions of years, Betelgeuse has undergone dramatic transformations, evolving from a hot blue star to the red giant we observe today. It is now in its final stage as a red supergiant. Stars like Betelgeuse change throughout their lives due to the ongoing pressures of nuclear fusion and gravity. Another characteristic that makes this stage of Betelgeuse stand out is its unique reddish color. Its red hue arises from its cooler surface temperature compared to other stars like our Sun. The Sun's surface is around 5,500 Kelvin, while Betelgeuse's surface is about 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature allows Betelgeuse to emit light at wavelengths that make it appear red. However, this color is more than just an appearance. It reveals information about the star's physical state and the processes occurring within its vast gaseous volume. The fact that Betelgeuse's color has changed over time adds to its mystery. Historical records from Roman and Chinese eras indicate that Betelgeuse was yellow around 2,000 years ago. By the 9th century, Arabic astronomers noted its red color. This shift over the course of human history is not merely a historical footnote. It signifies the star's evolution. Another intriguing aspect of Betelgeuse is its changing brightness. It is a semi-regular variable star, meaning its brightness fluctuates periodically. This rhythmic dimming and brightening have captivated scientists and stargazers for centuries. Typically, Betelgeuse goes through a 400-day cycle and a longer five-year cycle. As early as 1836, Sir John Herschel documented these cycles, and Aboriginal folk histories may date back even further. However, what truly makes Betelgeuse mysterious is not just its brightness changes, but their irregularity. Unlike many stars that vary in brightness predictably, Betelgeuse sometimes deviates from this pattern, suggesting complex and less understood processes within its immense form. Recently, astronomers and stargazers worldwide were shocked to observe a dramatic and unexpected change in Betelgeuse's appearance. This unprecedented dimming has raised numerous questions and concerns. This is now known as the Great Dimming. In late 2019, the red supergiant Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars in the night sky, and a prominent feature of the constellation Orion, began to dim mysteriously. The star was dimming so rapidly that it started losing its light at a rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day on average. By February 2020, it was at its dimmest. Betelgeuse, which can usually be seen with the naked eye even in areas with significant light pollution, 
became much fainter, and even casual observers could notice the difference. The time paradox, however, complicates monitoring Betelgeuse's activities because light takes so long to reach us. When we observe a star like Betelgeuse, we are not seeing it as it is now, but as it was in the past. For Betelgeuse, the light we see today left the star almost 700 years ago, as it is about 725 light years away. This time lag makes predicting and monitoring rapid changes in its behavior challenging. The Betelgeuse dimming event highlighted the difficulties of real-time sky observation and our limited understanding of the vast and mysterious realms of space and time they inhabit. Andrea Dupree, Deputy Director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian, and her team closely monitored Betelgeuse's celestial drama as part of a three-year study to track changes in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere. They used the Hubble Space Telescope to observe the massive star. These observations provided new insights into how a variable star like Betelgeuse operates. Variable stars regularly expand and contract, causing changes in their brightness. Researchers were able to examine the layers above Betelgeuse's surface, heated partially by the star's swirling convection cells. Thanks to Hubble's sensitivity to ultraviolet light, further analysis of Hubble spectra taken at different times in 2019 and 2020 revealed the movement speeds in Betelgeuse's upper atmosphere. The spectra were primarily composed of magnesium two lines, indicating the star's atmospheric conditions. The studies showed that material was moving from Betelgeuse's surface into its atmosphere at about 200,000 miles per hour. This hot, dense material eventually traveled millions of miles away from Betelgeuse, forming the dust cloud that dimmed the star during the three months of the outburst. Dupree and her team estimated that about twice as much material as usual was ejected from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere. While all stars lose mass over time, Betelgeuse's mass loss was particularly notable because it occurred at a much faster rate than the sun's. Astronomers debated whether this event could signal an impending supernova explosion. Given the magnitude of the mass release and the subsequent dimming, being only about 725 light years from Earth, Betelgeuse adds to the intrigue, as any such explosion would be visible from Earth and offer a rare opportunity to observe a supernova up close. But the question remains. What does this dimming mean for Betelgeuse's future? Is it a sign of an imminent supernova? Or is it merely a one-time event in the star's long and complex life? Several theories have been proposed to explain this rapid change. One popular theory suggested it was a precursor stage in the supernova explosion process, gaining traction due to the belief that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. Another common theory posited that dust, possibly from the star itself, was obstructing our view. It is known that Betelgeuse and other red supergiants shed material, which could accumulate into a dust cloud thick enough to obscure the star's light. A third theory examined how changes in the star's photosphere, the visible outer layer, might affect its apparent brightness. This puzzle was tackled using a combination of observational techniques and in-depth analysis. Spectroscopic studies indicated that Betelgeuse's effective temperature dropped, suggesting that the star may be dimming due to a large dark spot on its surface. The fact that Betelgeuse's temperature dropped by at least 170 Kelvin around the time of the dimming supported this idea, indicating significant changes on the star's surface. In the end, the Hubble Space Telescope, humankind's watchdog in space, helped us understand what was happening with this unusual event. Hubble's observations showed that the dimming of Betelgeuse was likely due to a large amount of hot matter being ejected into space. This material formed a dust cloud that obscured part of the star's surface, reducing the amount of light reaching Earth. The dust cloud was believed to consist of very hot plasma that erupted from a large convection cell on the star's surface. As this plasma moved through Betelgeuse's hot atmosphere to cooler outer layers, it formed dust grains that created a cloud blocking light from about a quarter of the star's surface. Hubble's ultraviolet light spectroscopic studies, which began in January 2019, were crucial in piecing together the events leading up to Betelgeuse's dimming. These studies detected dense hot matter moving through the star's atmosphere in the months before the dimming. Several ground based telescopes also observed the star's brightness decrease in December 2019 particularly in its southern half. Initially, the ejected material was brighter than the star itself, but as it moved outward and cooled, it turned into a dark cloud. 
this outflowing matter and the resulting dark cloud were believed to be responsible for the sudden dimming of the star. This explosion was immense, putting Betelgeuse at the center of astronomical attention. The star expelled about 400 billion times the mass typically ejected in a normal coronal mass ejection. This material, thought to be several times the mass of the moon, was significant for stellar explosions. Betelgeuse, a star that has fascinated astronomers for centuries, continues to capture our attention with its unpredictability and dramatic changes. Situated approximately 725 light years away in the constellation Orion, Betelgeuse, also known by its scientific designation, Alpha Orionis, has a luminosity that fluctuates significantly over time. This variability is characteristic of red supergiant stars nearing the end of their stellar life cycle. Observations of Betelgeuse have revealed intriguing insights into its dynamic behavior and structural evolution. Unlike stable stars like our Sun, which maintain a relatively constant brightness and size for billions of years, red supergiants like Betelgeuse are in a constant state of flux. This variability is primarily due to their enormous size and the complex processes occurring within their interiors. One of the most notable features of Betelgeuse is its immense size compared to our Sun. While the Sun has a diameter of about 1.4 million kilometers, Betelgeuse is approximately 764 times larger, with a diameter extending beyond the orbit of Jupiter if it were placed in our solar system. This colossal size makes Betelgeuse one of the largest stars known to astronomers. The size of Betelgeuse not only impacts its appearance but also plays a crucial role in its life cycle and behavior. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse has exhausted the hydrogen fuel in its core and is now fusing heavier elements like helium and other elements up to iron through a series of nuclear reactions. This fusion process generates immense energy that supports the star against gravitational collapse. Despite its size and energy output, Betelgeuse is nearing the final stages of its life. Stars like Betelgeuse exist on the main sequence for millions of years before expanding into red giants and then into red supergiants. The duration of a star's life cycle depends largely on its mass, with more massive stars burning through their fuel at a faster rate and thus having shorter lifespans. Betelgeuse is estimated to be relatively young for a star in its current phase, with an age of approximately 8 to 8.5 million years. This youthful age, however, does not diminish its significance in astronomical research. Studying Betelgeuse provides valuable insights into the evolution of massive stars and the processes that govern their formation, growth, and eventual demise. The evolution of Betelgeuse from a hot, blue star to its current red supergiant phase is a testament to the dynamic nature of stars. Initially formed from vast clouds of gas and dust, stars like Betelgeuse undergo dramatic transformations over millions of years. These transformations are driven by the interplay between gravitational forces, nuclear fusion, and radiation pressure. The red color of Betelgeuse, which gives it its distinctive appearance in the night sky, is a result of its cooler surface temperature compared to younger stars. While stars like our Sun have surface temperatures around 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse's surface temperature is significantly cooler, approximately 3,500 Kelvin. This lower temperature causes Betelgeuse to emit light primarily in the red part of the spectrum, giving it a reddish hue when viewed from Earth. The change in Betelgeuse's color over time has been documented throughout history. Ancient astronomers noted variations in the star's appearance, with records indicating that Betelgeuse appeared yellowish around 2,000 years ago. By the 9th century, Arabic astronomers observed its red color, marking a significant shift that continues to intrigue modern scientists. In addition to its color, Betelgeuse is known for its variability in brightness. Like many red supergiants, Betelgeuse exhibits irregular fluctuations in luminosity over time. These variations can range from minor fluctuations to more dramatic changes, such as the recent dimming event observed in late 2019 and early 2020. The great dimming of Betelgeuse, as it came to be known among astronomers and stargazers, captured global attention due to its sudden and significant decrease in brightness. During this event, Betelgeuse dimmed to a fraction of its usual luminosity prompting speculation about its cause and potential implications for future astronomical events. Astronomers, using advanced telescopes and observational techniques, 
closely monitored Betelgeuse during the Great Dimming to unravel the mystery behind this extraordinary event. Initial theories proposed that the dimming could be attributed to a dust cloud or ejected material obscuring Betelgeuse's surface and reducing its brightness as seen from Earth. Further studies indicated that Betelgeuse experienced an unprecedented outburst of material from its surface, leading to the formation of a dense dust cloud that temporarily obscured its light. This material, ejected at high speeds, expanded into space and eventually dispersed, allowing Betelgeuse's brightness to gradually return to normal levels over subsequent months. The observational data collected during the Great Dimming provided valuable insights into the physical processes occurring within Betelgeuse and other red supergiants. These observations helped astronomers refine their understanding of how massive stars evolve and interact with their surroundings, shedding light on the complex dynamics that govern stellar evolution. In addition to its variability in brightness, Betelgeuse has also exhibited changes in its spectral characteristics during different phases of its life cycle. Spectroscopic studies have revealed fluctuations in Betelgeuse's chemical composition and atmospheric conditions, offering clues about the star's internal structure and ongoing nuclear fusion processes. Recent advancements in astronomical technology, such as the Hubble Space Telescope and ground-based observatories equipped with adaptive optics, have enabled astronomers to study Betelgeuse in unprecedented detail. These instruments have provided high-resolution images and spectra of Betelgeuse's surface and surrounding environment, revealing intricate details about its complex dynamics and evolutionary timeline. The study of Betelgeuse and other red supergiants is essential for advancing our understanding of stellar evolution and the broader processes that shape the universe. By observing and analyzing these massive stars, Astronomers can gain insights into the origins of elements, the formation of galaxies, and the fate of stars at the end of their life cycle. Looking ahead, astronomers continue to monitor Betelgeuse and other red supergiants for further changes and events that could provide new insights into stellar evolution and the processes that govern the cosmos. These observations are crucial for refining existing models of stellar evolution and predicting the behavior of stars under different conditions. As our understanding of Betelgeuse and other massive stars deepens, so too does our appreciation for the vastness and complexity of the universe. Each new discovery brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of stars, galaxies, and the fundamental forces that shape the cosmos. Through continued observation and exploration, astronomers will continue to push the boundaries of knowledge and explore the frontiers of our cosmic neighborhood. Betelgeuse, with its immense size, variability, and evolutionary significance stands as a testament to the dynamic nature of the universe and the ongoing quest to understand its wonders. From ancient observations to modern-day discoveries, Betelgeuse continues to captivate and inspire astronomers and stargazers alike, offering a window into the cosmic processes that shape our existence and our place in the universe. In conclusion, Betelgeuse represents more than just a distant star in the night sky. It is a beacon of discovery and exploration, inviting us to delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos and expand our understanding of the universe and our place within it. As we continue to study and observe Betelgeuse and other celestial phenomena, we embark on a journey of scientific discovery that promises to illuminate the secrets of stars, galaxies, and the universe itself.